Hi, I'm Terry Geyer. I'm a oil painter and a portrait painter. I do landscapes and figure paintings as well as portraits. And uh, I'm now doing a uh, series of portraits for the Silicon Valley Luminary Society. You know, like the one behind me, uh, these are post-World War II inventors. Then there's the physicist painting. Uh, other ones w tend to be of the same um, industry. We have the semiconductor inventors. We've got the computer inventors. Okay, those first four paintings are completed. And uh, I have the last two here, medical devices and biotechnology, which are, are still being worked on and, and uh, we're working on in this segment. All right, I'm just making a, some kind of a tone to, to block in the lab coat. What I've done is shot pictures of myself in a lab coat just quickly in order to get the, how the lab coat folds. And I'm guiding also by pictures of Mir Imran when he was here in the studio. But it's all contrast, you know, if you've got a, and it's beautiful gray tones. I mean, um, the subtleties in, in, in grays, warm and cool, uh, bounced off each other. It's just more, more amazing than any bright colors you can, you can come up with. And again, I'm not really worried about getting everything just right. It's, uh, these are under layers, and this will give me something to work up on. Now, light falls off as it goes down, so I, uh, I'm gonna make it a little darker down here. Now, I don't wanna make the edge too rigid because uh, that may not be the edge. Uh, and it's hard to, hard to knock that stuff back after. This stuff really makes a good, a good base. Now I'm gonna quickly sketch in some, some pants. Just using that, some of that blue that I used up above, and mixing in some brown. So having a darker tone, I can go over the top of it with a, the warm and the cool or whatever and, and get another dimension. Now I'm just gonna give myself an indication of the rather light side of the pants. You know, the next stage is I'll come in and go, okay, well, I got a lap coat on. I'm all right, good. I'm, so I'm, I'm there, you know, I'm, I need to make it look like the fabric that it is. Make sure that his anatomy is proper underneath. It looks like he's wearing it. The clothes are a, a secondary element, I think. They have to be rendered to an extent that they have to look like clothes. They have to feel like clothes. But it's a guy wearing the clothes or a woman wearing the clothes and it's their clothes and it has a life to it just like the life of the person. Now you have a complete painting in tones of gray. From that tones of gray you add translucent color over the top of it in order to build up uh, a full color. Dr. Carl Gerasi was the inventor of the birth control pill in conjunction with Dr. Zaffaroni. This is dry so it, it will come back, it would come back to this. And even if I just scrubbed a bunch of color on this and then wiped it off, a little bit of that trace color would be on here and already look better. So I like to work on a slipperier surface, so I will, will cover the, the paint with, I used to just cover it with some linseed oil. As I'm bringing up layers, I want to see a little more color put in because I kind of lose the color as I'm creating the tone. Now I've got a, a uniform color covering it. Uh, I can still see my previous work through it, and now I start adding paint on top of it. Now I like to mix the paint right on the surface. Sometimes I work dark to light, sometimes I work light to dark. The photos that I have to work from are black and white. So I'm, I have to kind of invent the color. I have to kind of remember what colors I saw when I painted from life with people. It isn't really covering up totally. It's leaving some of the undercolor. It still has an influence and that influence is enough to, to start giving a translucency to the skin. Again, my favorite black. There's some red in it. We see tone more than we see color. And when you add the colored layers on top of it, you get those kind of pearlescent tones. Because it's, it's translucent, it shows the gray through it, you get those translucent tones that are so beautiful in the museum. Now I will put other colors onto it. Instead of mixing maybe an orange, I will put in a yellow, and then I'll bring in some red on top of it, you know, and then I can push that back and forth. And then I can come back with some white and lighten it, or I can come back with a dark and darken it.
at this stage, I'm not worrying about final color because I will do that later. If you really know what you're going to paint before you're going to paint it, why, you know, what, what's the whole thing about, you know? I try doing little tight drawings and then uh, finish them. But by the time I get done with a tight drawing, I'm bored. You know, I don't want to paint it. I just did a drawing of it, you know? It's, so I, I need to leave a lot to happen when I'm painting it, you know? I, I want that next day for it to get better. If it gets better, the next day I'll come in and I'm more excited about doing it again.